I don't know why we are, but I guess we're gonna try this rooster thing out one more time at least. Let's try adding another rooster to the flock. That was some interesting first time reactions with the hen there. I hopefully it won't be more aggressive like that in the future. We finally caught him. His name is gonna be Caesar, so we finally caught Caesar. Hopefully that was just like the fence kind of thing, or I don't know what was going on. But we're gonna get him into the spot that we need to hold him off for a little bit, still separate him, but he can be close to them. Then hopefully put them together here in a few days and hopefully that works out. Ow. 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 Right now it looks like the flock has really been just kind of hanging out next to the rooster, keeping their eye on him, seeing what's going on. I'm sure it's weird for them to see another big size chicken. We did just house our 10 Cornish cross in there for a little bit while I was building the chicken tractor, but they were little. This guy's a big guy, so they're probably wondering what's going on. We kind of just let him outside, popped him out, tried to hang out with him ourselves a little bit, but he was obviously really scared and nervous first time meeting, being in a different place. So along the fence line here for our chicken run, we figured that would be good for the hens and the rooster to kind of kind of see each other through the fence. Well, we were wrong. <laughs> newly named and newly to our property, Caesar didn't really like it. And I don't know if it was the hens kind of protecting or the fencing in between them sometimes causes even more anxiety and stress between the two parties. So maybe that's what was going on, but there was like two or three different kind of fights going on along the fence. And, and we figured that probably wasn't that good for them to keep doing that. So I ended up getting them, putting them into that chicken tractor here for a little bit. They'll be there now for a day or two, just kind of adjusting, letting them kind of see each other back and forth, getting more accustomed to each other, hopefully not fighting through the fence. At the moment, it doesn't look like it. I'm thinking we'll do the overnight thing where once the chickens are asleep, we'll take him, put him in the coop so that they all just wake up together. And hopefully that'll work. But for right now, we'll have food and water there for him. He has enough space for only being one chicken. A lot of people like to isolate their chickens for a few days, make sure no diseases, trying to check out the chicken that you're bringing into your flock. So we'll do that also, make sure that nothing looks wrong with him or anything. So here we go, we're starting the rooster journey again, and hopefully this goes well. He is not letting the chickens out. He chases the chickens and plays with them in the morning. Milo, let's go. Oh, sounds like his voice is cracking. He's a young rooster. We haven't heard that crow in a long time. All right, let's say good morning to all the other chickens. Yep, they're saying, I gotta go get my food, go get the food. Who's the last one? Snowflake probably. Yes. Hi Goldilocks. You are way behind. You're inhaling your guys' food. Shoot. As Caesar's been adjusting, you guys, hopefully you guys can hear me, a big storm's about to hit. But I came out here to check on our Cornish cross. I wanted to make sure they had enough water. And when I lifted it, I saw something pretty sad. This is just very sad to see. This is the first for us ever since we've been kind of raising animals here in our backyard. And we've never uh, had any deaths for any of our chickens or anything like that yet. And obviously we haven't had any other kind of farm animals other than our dogs here on our property, but all of our egg layers, everything's always worked out very well. And these chickens, especially Cornish Cross, they just grow so fast and the heat can really get to them. When I went in there, it looks like they still had food and water. So hoping it had nothing to do with us and what we did. I hope it was just a thing that was a natural cause that 
it's just a really hot day. We try to come out here and make sure they have nice fresh water and I was in the process of doing that today after just giving them new water in the morning. So, and right now it's about three o'clock and they still had water, I don't know. Just one of those things that always uh, make you think and we'll try to make sure we're even better than what we're doing now and hopefully nothing else like that happens. Got some leftovers for the chickens. One for all the hens and then we have one for the rooster that we gotta get in there and go see Caesar. But I gotta distract the other hens first, so let's give them some leftovers. I'm coming. He's trying to tell the hens I think there's good food here. It doesn't look like we're gonna swoon uh, Mr. Caesar over with some table scraps. At least not for this moment. He's being very suspicious of us still. He's not gonna let us get too close and his whole world just changed, so I understand. He's in a brand new place. He's locked up right now, not around any other chickens. You need another push? But it was funny when, when you saw when I pushed the food towards him, he started doing like a little dance thing. And I remember the last time we had a rooster, it seemed like every time we threw treats out there, threw anything out there, he would do little dances around them. And I'm thinking that's what a rooster does when they want to try to tell the other hens like, this is a good spot, there's some good food here, here's some food for you guys to eat. I'm hoping that's what it is because I really want him to turn out to be a great rooster for our hens. Tonight's the big night that he's gonna move into the coop with them at nighttime, so we'll see how everything goes. All right, time to go grab Caesar. Caesar, go come in me. peace. Okay, so far so good. Good night. All right, hopefully they wake up okay. All right, so it is the next morning and we are getting ready to let our whole flock out. And we are hoping everything is going well in there. So hopefully they have gotten used to each other and when we let them out, they'll be in harmony. Snowflake is always our very last one down. Come on, buddy. Are you being a gentleman and letting all the ladies go first? Oh my gosh. It's been a good like three minutes and he's still in there and it seems like he's just walking the, the roosting bars. It doesn't look like any hens are hurt and he doesn't seem hurt. They all seem in the same position when we opened it up. Looks like something's getting feisty between the two. <laughs> I'm determined to be your f Oh, all right. I guess the hens will take the food. He's just hanging out over here. So what we try to do is we're not trying to make the same mistake we made last time. We're trying to carry him around, trying to show him that like we are the ones more in charge than he is. And we're trying to make sure that he understands that. So, and it's something that we kind of made a mistake the last time we had a rooster. So anytime we can try to put or hold him and carry him around, that's what we're gonna try to do. Not turn your back on a rooster. We didn't know that before, but now we do. Right, isn't that right? He's been doing his dance for them, like for the mating process thing, and he hasn't really been doing any mating, but we did actually just catch the first time mating. And I, but since then, I've seen him do it a few more times. The good thing is, is after a few fights, like I said in the beginning, he has, I haven't seen any more fights between him and the hens. They've just kind of like ignored him if he does the dance or anything like that. But other than that, everything's been seeming to go well. What I do hope though, I haven't really seen yet, and obviously it's only his first full day with them. I haven't really seen him like walking around like a flock kind of more with them. He's, that's one of the reasons that we wanted to get a rooster was so that he's gonna protect them, but also so that we could hatch out our own chicks if we ever wanted to, so. And what I'm gonna do right now is put them down, but it, this is how I'm gonna do it, and I think this is another thing that they said to do. So, hopefully it goes well. We don't want anything like we're coming in here and we can't be in here because he's gonna chase us. A lot of people have that problem with the rooster. 
and we want to make sure that doesn't happen this time. So that was a pretty good time with me and him right there. All right, I think we successfully put a rooster into our flock and I think that the flock is accepting him perfectly. Now the one thing will be that hopefully he goes into that coop at night with the hens for the first time since he hasn't had to do that yet, but I'm sure he will. So everything's going well, everything's going according to plan and we are excited to have a rooster as part of the flock again. A little nervous because of the last time around and we got chased by a rooster, but we're gonna make it work this time. Have a great day and a better tomorrow, guys. See you in the next one.